RJ is in love. I know, I like Aww, it so much. You're so cute. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to our family. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Good morning, Mugu High Squad. How you doing? Did you sleep well? Guys, so today is a huge day. You guys saw the title of this vlog. Um, we've secretly been waiting for this day for a year. It's been a year, right? Around a year, guys. So with us here is Rizal, our giant poodle. Just hanging out. Mm -hmm. Hey, Rizalis. Yes, Rizal, we're going somewhere special today. The other dogs are at home, but uh, yeah, Rizal here is going to be reuniting with his parents and the breeder, and we're really excited. He has no idea what's going on. Um, and the reason why we're going there to his breeder is... First of all, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the vlogs. My name is Mikey Bustos. That's RJ Garcia right there. We're here in the Mabuhay bus. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit the subscribe button. Join our Mabuhay squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. So when we bought Rizal last year, right, the breeder was like, if you take Rizal, we'll give you a dog for free. And we're like, what? Are you sure? And the breeder actually owns a zoo. So if you guys saw the Liger Zoo vlog from last year where like he gave us a tour of all of his exotic animals and his tigers and lions and ligers and crocodiles and all of that. Well, part of the tour of his zoo stopped at this like enclosure with these very rare and odd looking dogs. They're called Sholos for short. They have this long name. It's like Sholowinski or Sholo... Zelensky. Shol... not Zelensky. Sholoy Squintly. These dogs apparently uh, evolved in the jungles of Mexico. Um, and they're a very rare breed. And um, so they were... They were very little was tampered by human like interaction like you know with dogs humans had to selectively breed to get the various odd looking like breeds like I mean how this does not look like a wolf at all <laughs> um, so there for this sh they call it Sholo dogs for these Sholo dogs there was very little uh, human uh, selective breeding to create them. They actually just evolved in the jungles of Mexico. So yeah, they're very rare and what makes them unique is that they're hairless. So they're also called Mexican hairless dogs. So when we were thinking of getting uh, one of the puppies of the poodles of our friend Mario who we're going to go visit now, he was like, okay, if you get if you get a puppy, we'll give you a Sholo for free. We'll throw it in. I'm like, what? Okay. And then we d we figured, you know, we'll take from the next litter. Um, and by then, you know, we'll have a new place. Because at the time, we were still living at the condo. Yeah, we'll just welcome a new family member. So guys, that day's today. This puppy that we're going to pick up is a female. Um, we've named her Brittany. Because <laughs> um, she looks like a Brittany. I'm a Britney Spears fan, um, and she seems really, really sweet. She's ready to leave today, so we wanted to pick her up and, you know, start the training, especially the house, the housebreaking process. Because for me, that's the probably one of the most important, in my opinion. Um, I want to make sure all our dogs are housebroken, and currently, all three of our current dogs are housebroken. They pee and poo outside. Sometimes they'll have an accident. Sometimes. Um, especially if like one of them has an accident, the others kind of will follow. But um, our dogs are generally housebroken, it's really great. Uh, so uh, yeah, I want to be involved in this sort of like initial training phase. Also super important obviously for dogs is to expose them to as many situations and environments as possible. Expose them to the world um, so that they grow up to be well-rounded and secure, confident dogs. Um, and that's kind of what we've been doing with our three dogs. So, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to meet Brittany and welcome her to the family, guys. Now, this is not one of the reasons why we named her Brittany, but it's something I realized, like, thinking about it for a while. 
that I remember when Britney Spears shaved her head um, during her meltdown, which was really, really, really sad. That's another thing they have in common, I guess, because she's hairless, right? That was not purpose. That was not on purpose, guys. It's just another commonality, I guess. Are you ready to meet your parents, Rizal? You ready to meet your parents? By the way, guys, um, the breeders of Rizal are always uh, selling uh, these giant poodles here in the Philippines. Um, Rizal here is the color red, just like his mom. His mom was imported, oh my gosh, his mom was imported from Russia. And then um, the dad is from a, a Korean Japanese bloodline of standard poodle. Of course, champion bloodline. So Rizal, you come from a champion bloodline, that's great. But yeah, it's, uh, Rizal turned out to be a really, really awesome, awesome dog. Great disposition, and he's just one big fluff ball. Rizal, you're gonna have a new sister. You can stop harassing Sahara now. <laughs> he'll have he'll have a new puppy with new puppy energy to play with. But I was also gonna say if you'd like to follow the breeder or would like to buy um, a standard poodle for your family, uh, look look them up, Logan the Bear on Instagram. That's the Instagram account of Rizal's breeder. Guys, check this out. Here in the Philippines, they lay out rice, see, on the street to dry. I guess after that, they mill it. It gets milled, like the, the outer shell gets removed somehow. I don't know, my boy squad, you guys, if you guys know, let us know the process in the comments. But yeah, they lay it out in the street and it dries in the sun. Okay guys, we got to the bottom of how to pronounce the name of this breed of Brittany. RJ, what is it? Sholoid Squintly. Sholoid Squintly. Sholo. Sholo eats Queenly. Sholoid Squintly. Um, and it apparently comes from like Aztec, I guess. It's the ancient Aztec dog of the gods. So see, like, it goes way back into like Mexican history. Oh, it's a watchdog. Oh, good. Like having a watchdog. Um, my guess guys is the breed will be similar in disposition to Aspins like the street dogs here in the Philippines um, because it does seem like the disposition is slightly different from like say your average like man-made man-created breed because I mean they did evolve in the wild all right guys we're getting close all right guys Rizal you ready here we go come on let's go <laughs> Do you remember this place, Rizal? Come! He's barking. Um, we're here at Liger Zoo. This gentleman raised Rizal when he was just a puppy. Guys, remember Liger Zoo? This is where we are. Really nice, beautiful. Here's their gift shop. I can't wait for him to meet his dad. So cool that they remember him. He was just saying Rizal looks so handsome. Okay, Rizal's a little nervous, so... He prefers to be carried. Wow. Hi, Mario. There's Mario. Hi, Mario. Hello, how are you? <laughs> yes, good to see you again. Hi. He's big, right? Hi, Rizal. <laughs> you look so beautiful. Yeah. He's a little nervous. Yeah. That's why we're picking him up. Yeah. Logan and Logan. It's like Logan and Lilo. Eh? Oh, really? Yeah. They're saying he looks like the parents. Do you think he'll remember Logan I and Lilo? Think so. No. They're both males. <laughs> oh. He's around two. Ten months? Ten months, yeah. Ten months now. Go. Ah, let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh, guys. Mario's collection of raptors, like hawks, is so awesome. This here is a crested serpent eagle. Right there and up there. Beautiful. White-bellied sea eagle. Oh, awesome. Anyways, it looks like this. Looks like that. You're a big boy! Yeah! He's big. Do you remember, mom? Do you remember? <laughs> Hello. She Hello. really oh, took care of him. Oh, that's daddy? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Logan's trying to mount Rizal. That's your son. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's so friendly, this one. Rizal will apparently grow some more. That's your mom! Rizal, don't you remember? That's your dad. You like the color? Yeah, it's beautiful. 
I remember Marivy when you were crying. Oh. When you handed when you handed Rizal to us, she cried. <laughs> Ooh, beautiful guys, eclectus. <gasps> Gorgeous. You know what? I am highly considering getting an eclectus for the aviary. They are just so beautiful. Like one boy and one girl. They're sexually dimorphic. You can tell right away because boys are green, girls are red. It's good to see that here at the zoo, there are more guests because that obviously means more revenue for the zoo. These animals need to be fed. You guys need to watch our last vlog about my thoughts on zoos like this and um, how the pandemic affected zoos like this. Personally, I'm just, I'm happy to see that there are visitors again now that the zoo has opened up. Rizal's running around. <laughs> Go play Rizal, it's your own kind. He's so used to small dogs. <laughs> yeah. He's like lived with small dogs his whole life. He's like, yay, big dogs. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is big. Wow. <laughs> this is Logan. See, Logan's so cute. Logan and Lilo. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he loves strangers, this one. <laughs> he loves strangers. <laughs> Rizal is having a blast. I swear he remembers this family. Hey, yes, yes, we sell these. Go play, go play. This is your chance to play with dogs your size. Okay, so Mario just said that he might lo he might be bigger than Logan because the mom, Lilo, has a larger like male bloodline. So they're saying that he might even be bigger than dad. Hey, wow, is totally playing with mom. <laughs> <laughs> Dad's barking because he wants to He wants to hum for some <laughs> Oh my gosh guys, it's Brittany Hi Brittany <laughs> Rizal, that's your new sister Hi Brittany Oh, you're so cute Oh, She's so scared It's okay Brittany Rizal, that's your sister, your new sister. It's funny, we have the hairiest dog and oh the hairless dog. Do you like it? Yeah. Oh, she she likes you, man. Look at the skin. Her skin is so interesting. Yes, Rizal. I think Rizal likes her too. Hi, Brittany. Oh, look at her paws. Wow. They're big and black and paddish. Oh. Hi. Hello. Yes. Oh my gosh, guys. We just learned that Brittany was the only child. She was the only puppy in the litter. Wow. Oh, she's so she's so nervous. It's okay. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. This one was a solo solo. So wow, she didn't grow up with other puppies. So this will be interesting, like having her grow up with our dogs. She'll have to get used to other dogs, but she seems really shy and sweet. Yeah, she's sweet. We're now going to see some other Sholos. Awesome sun conures, guys. Beautiful. Chickens, Rizal. Those are chickens. Rizal's like, what are those? We're gonna be living with some soon, Rizal. So these are chickens. That's a peacock, Rizal. We'll probably be getting one too in the future. This is Katie. Who is this again? Ariana. Hi, Ariana. Good to see you again. Oh yeah, we have Ariana and Brittany. And Katy Perry. And Katy Perry. We got all the pop stars here. Hi, Brittany. She likes me. Yeah, Brittany likes you. Rizal is afraid of the lion. Yeah. The lion's like, you look like a tasty meal. Come here, Rizal. Come on, Rizal, don't worry. Um, they can't get to you. He's not the only more. Yeah, he's, he's just, like, I don't blame him. He should be afraid of the lion. It's okay, just stay with me. Guys, the male, the lion, male lion is up there. His name is Connor. I know, pheasants are beautiful. Look at how beautiful. Guys, a cassowary, one of the most dangerous birds on the planet. They'll slash you with their feet. Guys, here are the Sholos. This is what they look like when they're older. Okay, so this is how big the females get. They're a bit smaller than the males. Awesome. He's got nine. Brittany, that's your kind. We got turkeys. There's some sheep. Hi there. So these monkeys are all surrendered animals that were formerly pets. But then, you know, when they grow older, they become aggressive because they are wild animals. See, look at it. This threat display with his teeth. And then they have to come to like sanctuaries like this. 
It's really sad. Never keep monkeys as, as pets, guys. And they can't be released in the wild because they didn't grow up in the wild. You can't just release animals that have grown up in captivity into the wild, like monkeys anyway, because they wouldn't survive. They don't have the skills. OMG, guys, look. <gasps> Is this a saltwater croc? Salt water croc? Oh my gosh, guys, this is a saltwater croc. They call it Parosis crocodile. Parosis crocodile. It's huge. It doesn't look real. Wow. This one is around 40 or 50 years old. 50 years old? And this was completely captive bred, right? Guys, meet Donkey Donuts. <laughs> so cute. OMG, guys, look. Look at this tiger here. It's like waiting for the dogs to come. What's its name? Lizard? Oh, blizzard. blizzard. Wow, guys, so this is Blizzard, who is, I guess, het for like the white gene. She's heterozygous for the white gene because the sister is over there and she's white, but she's napping right now. A white. It's pure white, and this one is normal color. A but white. Both are siblings. I see. A white tiger. See that, guys? See it? She's sleeping. Wow. This is one and a half years old, this this tiger. Guys, guinea fowl. This is what I want for... They're good anti-snakes. But they are noisy, apparently. Guys, Rufus Hornbill. Endemic to the Philippines. Hi there. Zazu from Lion King is also a hornbill. OMG, I recognize these birds from Canada. This is a crow. And it's curious with Rizal right now. One of the most intelligent birds. Oh really? They're very intelligent. Interesting. Hi there, you are beautiful. Oh, there's two. They're really intrigued with the result right now. So Yakim gave that. Oh really? Yeah. Guys, this is a Salkara tortoise and it's from our good friend Kuya Kim. You guys remember Kuya Kim? For if you're in the Philippines, you definitely know Kuya Kim, big celebrity here. He's eating okra and watermelon, so healthy. So guys, the last time we were here, this little one was not born yet, but he was born. Hi there. These are the resident orangutan. The male is way back there. Hi. Yes, hi. I would touch your hand, but I, I'm, I don't think I'm allowed. But look at that baby, it's so cute. Oh, I can I can feed them? All right. Thank you. The whole bread? Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Yeah, there you go. Oh, she's so gentle. The baby was eating watermelon, so I guess it's weaned now. Oh, it's so cute. Hi there. How's the bread? How's the pandesal? <laughs> Apparently she got pregnant even though they were in separate cages. So meaning they mated through the bars. That is crazy. Oh my gosh, guys. You won't believe what Mario just said. She's pregnant again. So she's gonna have another baby as well. <gasps> wow. Guys, we're gonna feed it a carrot. Who, the mom or baby? The mom will always get it. Oh, the baby won't get it. Oh, no. He's getting it. Oh, he's just taking a bite. Okay, you could have it. There you go. Do you like it? There you go. Aww. Such beautiful, gentle animals. These um, orangutan were born uh, in captivity. They were, they've were they never been in the wild. Um, and there is like a global, like there are people who, who breed them to be sold as pets. I mean, kind of like, you know, reptiles and stuff. There is like a, a, a community of exotic pet keepers. And these animals were born in captivity. You can't just release these into the wild, they would die. RJ is in love. I know, I like it so much. Oh, you're so cute. Yeah. Welcome to our family. Guys, this is Adidas, the puma. <laughs> yeah, the name is Adidas, even if it's a puma. They're also called mountain lion abroad or cougars. What an animal. Wow, look at those eyes. So this place is actually also a very important sanctuary for surrendered animals um, here in the Philippines. Oh, I love it. The family photo is ready. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's really skin, guys. <laughs> this is a different sensation like for a dog. Yeah. Oh, and she's so warm. Good girl. Good girl. I think she has to pee. Bye guys, thanks so bye. much. Bye. Yay, bye. Bye. Bye, bye. bye Lilo. Bye. bye Logan. Brittany's coming home guys. Yee. Rizal is a showstopper. Everyone wants to take pictures with him. Hey Brittany, welcome to the Mabuhay bus. This is your car. This is your car. Yeah. 
She's looking at the camera. She's like, what is that? What blows my mind is this dog did not grow up with other dogs. Like literally, she was the well, only yeah. puppy in the litter. That's gonna be different for her, like to be with the other dogs. And she seems non-phobic of other dogs. Like she's not too scared of Rizal right now. But time will tell how she reacts to our other dogs and how our other dogs react to her. Hungry, yes, good girl. Eat, eat, eat. This one here is excited to go home. He learned a lot of things today. Right, Rizal? You had a big day today, huh? Happy to go home? Do you love your new sister? So guys, we now have four dogs. Two girls, two boys. This is gonna be interesting. You want a toy, Brittany? Here, we got some toys for you. Yes. Rubber toy. It'll feel good to chew. You don't know how to play? Oh, there. Oh, there. Hey. She likes the softer toy. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> yes, good girl. Enjoy. We got lots of those toys at home. He's just watching. <laughs> Rizal's watching with, with a loving gaze. <laughs> Do you like her? That's your new sister. She can play with you now. All right, guys. So today has been such a fun day. It's now time to bring little Brittany home. Now this will be an epic adventure because the dogs. We're gonna see how she reacts to the dogs and how our other dogs react to her. Let's do this, Mabuhai squad. This should be interesting. 